Lauren, the old man, it's Lauren. He bumped his head and wouldn't wake up the morning. It is a rainy day. Happy 420, guys. It is 420. <laughs> Which, if you don't know what that means, I don't know where you've been. It is a stoner holiday for marijuana which is okay to talk about now that it's legal, but <laughs> um, I know about this because in my youth, I was a stoner. I was, it's been months since I've even had one situation with it, but 420 is pretty much like five o'clock for people who drink. It is the time or the day that you go and take your first hit. Um, so yes, true wake and bake stoners, you know who you are. They get up at 420 and they know it's time to go have a bowl or have that joint. So that's kind of what that's all about. <laughs> I have kind of gotten away from it because it affects everyone differently, but for me, the way it affects me, is I get super lazy. I do. I get super lazy. I get the munchies like no one's business and paranoid. I get so incredibly paranoid. And when I was actually smoking, it was illegal. So that added to the paranoia. I know. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed. But <laughs> it's 420, guys. So it means a whole new thing now that it's not legal. I mean, that it is legal. Wow, I'm getting mixed up. So, completely different rules. Um, so, how do you guys celebrate it now? The actual day. Are there festivals going on now? There should be. There really should be, right? To praise the plant that so many people love. Um, if I do indulge in it these days, it is more of like a sleeping tonic for me because it makes your head kind of go floaty. And especially if you don't partake very often, it is one of those things that will help you go to sleep, but it'll also help give you lucid dreams. So if you're trying to figure something out or it's very therapeutical, it can be very therapeutical, to um, do it in a controlled state where you are trying to figure things out or think about the past that kind of thing so it can that's why it's um for medical marijuana because it has its medical uses so you just should do everything in moderation and do it um in a controlled manner <laughs> i don't know how to say it i didn't do it in a controlled manner and i was super lazy full of munchies <laughs> and paranoid <laughs> anyways it is also a day to commemorate the chinese language which is mandarin it is the number one first language in the world. Meaning it is not the number one spoken language in the world. I believe English is because so many people know English for um, trade and globalization purposes. But it's not everybody's first language because, <laughs> because China is so big, so populated its population is so much greater than anyone else's <laughs> i gotta speak over the rain <laughs> because it's so big its population outbalances everybody else therefore it is the number one first spoken language first spoken language yeah, anyway. you know what i mean it's also look-alike day so who do you look alike this could be like a celebrity, but it cannot be your family. So I know I look like my kids. I do. I know. I know I do. I look like my mama. I know. <laughs> but who else do you look like who's not part of your family? It's an interesting idea to think about. As far as food goes, of course, it's munchy day. <laughs> so anything that requires zero preparation... Because remember, <laughs> you're lazy, <laughs> or at least I am. You want something that has no preparation, no real dishes to cook with. You don't want to turn the stove on. The absolute most preparation you'll do is throw something in the microwave for two minutes, like popcorn. But besides that, you want like chips, <laughs> nuts, I don't know, like 
those uh, Little Debbie snacks. Oh my God, don't get me started on Little Debbie snacks. I had a pooch because of Little Debbie snacks. <laughs> and then I, officially though for food today, it's cheddar, cheddar fries, which sounds amazing. And that, that also is a munchy snack. Although hopefully someone else prepares it for you because melting that cheese, man, Unless you do it in the microwave, which would make this fry soggy. It's not, it's not super easy to do. But then, pineapple upside down cake, which is one of my favorite desserts. It was discovered, not invented, but discovered in 1925 for the world to see. Because it is from Hawaii, and they ran, there was a company that ran a pineapple recipe contest. And out of the tons of recipes that were submitted, like 2,500 of them were pineapple upside down cake. And of course they won. So that's when it was like presented to the world is this is the best pineapple recipe there is. And it became super famous. And of course everybody knows what a pineapple upside down cake is because it is amazing and delicious. And if you have it, you really need to try it. Like now, you really should try it. <laughs> Anyways guys, happy Tuesday. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.